Hey you guys, what's going on? SmartHelping.com here. And today I'm doing an update on the inventory restocking template. This is a model to look at historical sales and then forecast up to 36 months of inventory requirements in the future. The update involves adding up to 500 SKUs. Previously, uh, for the past couple of years, it's only been up to 19, and I've had a lot of requests to extend it, but it, it required a little bit of um, adjustments to the structure of how the model works, but it's completely fine. It worked. We updated it. Um, now you can see you can model up to 500 SKUs individually with all of their own uh, reordered uh, amounts, lead times, payment terms, uh, safety stock, or minimum inventory levels. <clears throat> And so the way it works is you can configure it here on the control tab, entering uh, the SKU, the average cost per unit, sales price per unit, lead time, starting inventory amount. Um, the average sales per month is going to be based on historicals that you can enter. Months to reorder for is going to drive how much you reorder in the future. Um, uh, the actual reorder amount based on that multiple. Um, it shows you how many times you're making a reorder in the next 12 months based on all the inputs. Uh, total ordered in the next 12 months, total cash required in the next 12 months, and then you've also got payment term, data entry, and minimum inventory level. So you enter all that stuff for every SKU. You do historical sales, so this is up to 36 months in the past of what you've done, and this is to get seasonality in order for us to forecast the future expected sales of all these items. Over here shows you the average per month. So it's looking at every month of January and showing you, okay, on, in January, your average is 361. In February, the average is 128. March is, is 128, and so on. Then you've got historicals here. This is just essentially a copy of what we just looked at. Um, you can adjust the start month of when your forecast is going to start here as well. So this is saying 1 1 2021. You could have it be any start month, but just make sure the, the day is always 1, whatever month it starts for the forecast. Um, you can also adjust your historicals, same deal here on NC3, depending on when your historicals are. And all that's gonna do is drive the month numbers here, which is gonna figure out how our average per month sales are. Month over month change, so this is where you actually define how many units you're gonna sell in the future, and it's gonna run off a percentage of your historical sales average per month. So the first 12 months are looking at the average for um, each month for the last three years, and then you can define a percentage that you think is going to be different for your forecast. Then your next 24 months, you're going to look at the percentage difference of the previous 12 months. So like here, it's saying 5% in March. It's actually 5% more than March of the last year. And then you can also say, you know, in, in then the next um, year, March, this is going to be a percentage greater than the previous year. So this is how you define your forecast. The units sold by month. And then this is actually showing you what your expected units are per month sold per up to 500 SKUs. Now remember, you don't have to use all 500 SKUs. And if you want to lighten up the Excel file, you can just clear out rows that you're not using. And that's completely fine. Sales and cost forecast. So this is um, aggregating all of our data. So we can see how many sales we're selling across all units per month, what that revenue is, the reorder count, and this is the main line is here's your inventory cost requirements based on all of the assumptions, lead time, uh, safety stock, um, payment terms, and everything else. Uh, this is showing you how much you're reordering uh, in each month in total. And these numbers are all driven off of a daily chart. And this is really what is the, the heavy part of the file is this is showing you for up to 500 SKUs. This is showing you your running balance over time and when you have to reorder. And then that data is used to figure out a lot of dynamic stuff. And th these formulas are very, um, the, the way it's set up is pretty clever and is very useful. Um, there's a reason why this template's been the most purchased in history of Smart Helping because it is very useful and difficult to replicate. Um, you've got your lead time logic here. Uh, when units are purchased. And then the actual payment day, which is gonna be used as our offset, dynamic offset number, and then the day of the payment and how many units are purchased on that day. And then the unit sales. So all this together allows you to figure out when do I need the units to arrive based on the depletion of current inventory? 
when am I going to make that purchase? When am I going to actually pay for that purchase? Uh, now, there would be a little bit more of a, a modification, but I didn't want to put it in the default version because it's just too much. But if you did have payment terms where you had 50% up front, 50% in the future, I can make that modification for you depending on the percentages, but that's just going to be custom work. But other than that, everything works uh, fine. You've got a visual here showing you your monthly expected sales and then your actual inventory purchases. Um, you got annual detail also showing your unit sales per SKU on an annual basis and the, um, the inventory purchases. So it's a really nice template. It's extended out 500 SKUs. Hope, hopefully it's helpful to you guys. And uh, that's all I got for you. You can buy the template in the link in the description box below. Uh, just check it out. It's also at smarthelping.com. It is included in the inventory bundle as well. Um, if you if you do purchase um, the forty five dollar template, you'll you will get this five hundred SKU version. You will also get access to the nineteen SKU version, and you also have access to a reordering organizer uh, inventory re um, organizing template. So lots of value there. Go check it out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.